anyone who smokes absolutely has the ability, potentially, and the power to quit smoking no matter what's happening outside of them. And so it's not about I hope I'm going to quit, it's do it. Todd, a lot of people tend to say a lot of things such as I hope blank or you know I'm going to try. Sometimes they say I hope this works or they walk in going I, I hope you can help me uh, right. or I'm going to try, I'm going to really try to follow the program. I hope it works. I hope it works this time Yeah. because it's always failed in the past. R yeah. Right. Um, so yeah, the problem with that, uh, first let me take a step back. We've been all trained to believe hope is good and, you know, and trying is good. Um, a lot of the stuff I'm mentioning in the book, I'm, I'm splitting hairs a little bit, but it's important mm -hmm. because the work we do as hypnotists show how important language is. Mm -hmm. So yes, yeah, should people put in effort? Absolutely. Should people wish or, or should people have the intention to succeed? Yes. But the problem with hoping, as I mentioned in the book, is that when you hope, for it's something. in something else's hands. Yeah, or... you're 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 ex externalizing your power. So I say, right. if it's fine, if you say, hey, I hope the you know the the Yankees win, or, or I hope that or it I doesn't hope it doesn't rain. rain yeah, exactly. <laughs> or I hope I hope the plane gets in on time. You know, right. Those are things that let's just say you have no effect on whatsoever. So you can hope out of your control. Totally out of your control. If you want to hope, great. You'll probably be disappointed if you're wrong, but that's fine. But when you're talking about something that you're doing that you have full power over yourself. Um, gee, I, I hope, you know, I, I, this weight loss program works. I hope, uh, you know, I lose weight if I exercise every day. Uh, you're, you're, you're hoping that something outside of you is going to, is going to do it. And, and then if it doesn't work, well, if they don't put in the effort, they can easily point a finger as to why it didn't work. Exactly. You know, like and and not by the way, taking full responsibility of it. Right. And so, you know, the, the, the things I mentioned in the book are that, you know, you could, you could blame, you know, the devil for, for your, a lot of people, religious folks blame the devil for their, their bad actions, or they blame the government for keeping them down. Um, there may be some truth to that, but as long as you blame someone and you play the victim, you're not in control of yourself. And if you hope that a drug company, you're blaming nicotine. Nicotine is, you know, the reason I'm addicted and I hope that that drug is going to help me. Or I hope that that politician is finally going to change the way the country works. You're, you're, you're putting your, your energy into something that you have no control over. And so the point is with this whole book, Break the Chains of Smoking, is that anyone who smokes absolutely has the ability, potentially, and the power to quit smoking no matter what's happening outside of them. And so it's not about I hope I'm going to quit. It's do it. Do the things you need to do to quit. It, for example, let's just say, okay, I'm going to try to pick up this phone. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I mean, that's ridiculous, right? Just pick it up. I mean, it's a little different with smoking, but don't try to quit. Quit. Don't hope you're going to quit. Do it. And, and mm -hmm. the book explains how to go about that process and all of the, the, the mental traps that keep people stuck.